The initiative was organized to assist the government in its efforts to provide food security to vulnerable Namibians during the state of emergency. One of the organizers said that this initiative targets an estimated 4,200 vulnerable Namibians who will receive food hampers to sustain them for the last few days of the month. Today is uh, probably the end of the first phase. Uh, we've done uh, four, uh, four deliveries of food hampers. We're coming to a total of about 500, which can cover, by our estimates, about 4,000 to 4,200 Namibians. The idea is to distribute food hampers that will provide uh, food relief, not hunger relief, but food relief. So it's about 10 to 15 days worth of food, uh, just, to pro just so that people are assisted in the probably last days of the month. We came in contact with uh, Mrs. Sofia Shaningwa, who provided us guidance and directed us to areas that she felt were of a priority. Obviously, we don't understand the demographics of Vinduk, so, but we wanted to be as efficient and effective as possible, and that is why we have opted to do it this way. As we have been doing it, we, will, we intend to continue doing it, and as we were doing it right now, we have got a better feel for how the city of Vinduk is organized, how people are spread out, and it may be that in the future we will do it on our own or continue to do it in cooperation with local authorities. The Swapo Youth League Secretary for Education, Hofni Ipinge, called on the business community, non-governmental organizations and other political parties to support the government in its efforts to secure food for economically vulnerable communities. This is the time that all of us need to come together and save the Namibian lives. So, not to be selfish, but to assist each other. I'm calling the business people to come on board. The uh, 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 non-governmental organizations to come on board and assist our people with the little you have. You cannot sometimes call yourself a leader, but you, you cannot even give $200 from your pocket to, to save one or two Namibian lives. So come on board, then assist our people while we are in this difficult time. I know we'll go through, but this is the time that we need to come together and assist each other. So I know the party is doing its, its best, but we don't want to say is the party doing its best. We are giving this food as a government because it was given, so some of the food were given by the, to the party, but we, the, uh, the way we are giving this food, we are giving them as a helping hands from the government, not from the party, but from the government. Because at this time around, we are not talking about part A or ta part B. We are talking about saving the Namibian lives. According to a report by the Food and Agriculture Organization, Namibia has been placed on the priority list of countries that need an urgent intervention in fighting food insecurity.